Hello and welcome to The Voice of Todd. I'm Tom, and in this video we're going to take a look at the new reveal trailer for Never. This is a game by the creators of Gris, a game I haven't played, but it's on that back catalogue that is constantly growing. But it looked just absolutely stunning. And this trailer, which was announced at the Sony PlayStation Showcase a couple of days ago, I'll link my live reaction down in the comments. You check it out if you want to see the full thing. It's about an hour and 20 minutes. But I'm picking little trailers out and we're having a second look. And this, again, was just stunning, beautiful art style. I don't really know what it's about. There is an article that we're going to look at like we've been doing with these after the video. But let's take a look at the trailer because I thought this was just stunning. Just beautiful art style. Ah, just the colours, the vibrancy. And again, I say this quite a lot. The music is stunning. And it, I think this is more of a cinematic trailer than a gameplay trailer. And it gave me super Princess Mononoke vibes. The big wolf, the white wolves, the girl. Just, yeah. But I love Princess Mononoke. It's one of the great films. And this as well. The dark cloud monsters. But you're already drawn in, right? You're caring about the wolf. I feel like this is going to be an exceptionally emotional game. Which I'm okay with. Kind of feels like the start of Ori. It just broke my heart when I played that. It just broke my heart. It's just beautiful. And then the pup as well. So well animated. And the stirring soundtrack. It's it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I've got no idea what the game is about. Probably some sort of adventure with a girl and her dog. Don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Coming 2024. It's on PlayStation. It's on Xbox. It'll be on PC. It's, it's everywhere that you can get it. Um, and rightly so, because games like this, games as beautiful as this, should be experienced by everyone, I believe. Wherever you can play it, something like this that just looks so incredible, you should be able to play. Well, let's jump over into the article and see what uh, what's actually going on. So over here on the PlayStation blog, I'll stick an article in the description of the video so you can check this out yourself if you want to. But I thought we'd run through this because this might give us an extra idea of what the game is actually about. So, introducing Never, the beautiful new game from the developer of Gris. Form a bond with a troublesome teenage wolf. I mean, that, that sounds like a pretty fun game idea so far. This is done by Adrian Cuevas. Sorry if I'm getting that wrong. I'm terrible with names. Uh, he's the co-founder of Nomada Studio. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to raise a wild animal? You never, not only will you find out firsthand just how troublesome a teenage wolf can be, but you'll learn to depend on one another in more ways than one. Never is our own newborn baby, a love song dedicated to our children, our parents and our planet. It tells the moving tale of a young woman and her lifelong bond with a magnificent wolf as they embark on a thrilling adventure through a rapidly dying world. Let's look at the different so we saw the vibrancy of the trailer and then this looks like it's game world and it's a complete different total contrast i don't see the wolf where's the wolf where's the wolf so where did never come from after finishing gris we enjoyed a long period of tranquility and reflection conrad had just welcomed his son in the world and dedicated all of his time to raising him during this time we began to really digest what's happening in the world around us, 
climate change, social unrest, and most recently the COVID-19 pandemic. All of this created an idea of the setting for Never. Oh, it looks beautiful. I'm, I'm in love with this art style. We decided to focus our efforts on creating a game about the relationship we have with our children and parents, and how we emotionally relate to them in often complicated contexts. We're interested in expanding how these relationships change over time. At the beginning, children need protection and education, but as teenagers, they can become rebellious and challenge authority figures. And as they grow into adulthood, they become more responsible and begin to think about living their own lives, which their parents need to accept. To represent this relationship, we needed two characters to show how at least one of them is growing. The colours are just beautiful. Can we do that? To provide the right backdrop to our story, we looked to the environmental problems the Earth is facing due to human interference. This will lead to the destruction of many ecosystems, causing animals and even humans to lose their homes. So we wanted to imagine how a scenario like this would affect our characters. We hope that fans of Gris will enjoy Never for many of the same reasons they loved our first game, but also for the new mechanics that we're introducing. Never is an evocative adventure for all players that blends action and with handcrafted cinematic moments and collaboration between both characters is key to the experience. The big question is, can you pet the wolf? Players will face platforming, puzzles and combat challenges while dealing with monstrous enemies. As ever, we also wanted to craft a polished experience with minimal UI, delicate art, high quality traditional animation and an elegant music style. We think we've achieved that and we can't wait for players to experience it themselves. I think, I think, I mean it looks like they've achieved that. Jesus, this is just beautiful. That picture is just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, I totally different to something like Phantom Blade Zero, where it's it looks like a very pretty world, and the character models and everything, and the music and and everything seems to fit. But the core focus is predominantly on that um, that kung fu punk style that they were were talking about in the article. Whereas this, this is a a, a visual experience I feel and as I say I've not played Gris I do want to I really want to but this is showing you something different it's more about the connection to the characters the environment that they're in the world around them and how they traverse and, and function through that and the challenges that they face very different style of game this is what I love about how the gaming industry has evolved we have studios who will just come up with these crazy ideas and showcase them in different ways with beautiful art and soundtrack and the focus is more on the overall experience than just the core gameplay loop and there's so much variation and i said this when we were talking about this the sony show when we were live there was so much variation in what they were wanting to show some of the indie games some of the the mob typical triple a platform stuff there was so many different varieties of games it's such a great time to be into these things. And this isn't coming out this year, it's coming out next year. There's no other date, just 2024. So it's one to look out for. This is absolutely beautiful. And I think next year it is gonna come out and just blow people's minds. And I am so looking forward to getting my hands on this and seeing more of it as we get closer to the release date. But let me know what you thought in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.